And one other thing that nobody else is talking about that you you only hear first with Bleezy38. I have not heard one other person talking about McDaniel and Yo, Bleezy with Bleezy38 coming at you once again today. Miami Dolphins. Guys, big, big, big game this weekend against uh, Minnesota. Big game. We're three and two right now. We just got beat by the Jets. This is a pivotal key game for us coming up. Okay? Because I really think it's gonna springboard us in one of two directions. <laughs> number one, we're gonna get we win and get back on track. Or number two, we lose. People start questioning McDaniel. Well, I don't even want to go there. Don't even want to go there. Okay? So let's win this game, get back on track. Miami, the, the Dolphins are a three-point underdog at home against Minnesota. And uh, that sounds about right because we don't even know who's going to be quarterback at this point. It's crazy. You know, I said in my, one of my earlier videos about the Dolphins, beware of the curse, okay? And what I mean by that is the bizarre stuff that seems to circle around the Dolphins all, every year. Not almost every year, every year. It's always something. And right now we have the Tua in the concussion situation. And now the NFL just uh, um, came out with a new Tua rule where they have a spotter up in the stands. So if they see you get wobbly, that spotter has uh, the authority to pull a player out of the game, which is exactly what happened to uh, Teddy Bridgewater. And so bizarre stuff. Beware the curse. Let's get rid of that stuff. Okay, let's get this win and get it back on track because I don't want to go the other direction. Okay. And one other thing that nobody else is talking about that you you only hear first with Bleezy38. I have not heard one other person talking about McDaniel and his clock management. Okay? I, guys, I, I believe he wasted some key time at the end of the first half. About 20 key seconds, if I remember right. I haven't gone back and looked. But what I, have a pro, what I had a problem with, we were down nine points in the fourth quarter. We're still in that game, guys. When it was 26, uh, 26 17 with eight or nine minutes left, in my opinion, we're still in this. Let's go. And all of a sudden, I'll look out there on the, on the field, and our guys are standing around running run plays. Like we're trying to burn clock. I don't know if we just lay down at that point. I find that hard to believe. I don't think we had the, the, um, the awareness to have urgency, is almost what it seemed like. And that's on coaching. You know, I'm an Ole Miss fan, you know. Ole Miss plays a really, really, I know it's different. College and pro is totally different. I got it. But Ole Miss offensive linemen, they run up to the line. They play that up-tempo. So maybe I'm used to seeing that. But when I saw our clock management, I'm like, we're not going to win this game. We're wasting the clock right now. That eight or nine minutes is a lot of time in the fourth quarter in a football game. If you've been watching football, you should know that. You know, we, we, you know how many points you could score that quick if, if coached? Properly, yeah. So beware. Keep a lookout on, on the clock management, okay? Keep a lookout on the clock management. I've got my eye on that. Bleezy38 coming at you once again. Let's get this win. I'm going to let you go. Miami Dolphins, baby. Let's get it back on track, man. Let's get it back on track. We know we got mad, crazy injuries. I'm not talking about that. Doesn't matter. We got to do what we have to do, okay? And so let's do this. Let's beat Minnesota. Let's do it. Fins up, baby. Peace.